Hi, I'm Momo. Welcome to Stories and Devotional Talks with Momo. Today we're going to talk about Epiphany. Epiphany is the manifestation of God into the world. It's represented by the wise men. Epiphany is also when you have an aha moment or suddenly you know a solution to a problem or things become clear to you. I want to read to you from the Beginner's Bible. This one's about 30 years old. And um, I'm going to read you the story of the wise men. Visitors from the east. God put a special star in the sky when Jesus was born. Some wise men who lived in the east saw this star. They knew it was a sign. It meant that baby king had been born. These wise men wanted to visit the baby, so they followed the star a long way. See them following the star? The wise men went to King Herod in Jerusalem. We know a baby king was born, they said. Can you tell us where he is? This worried the king. He did not like anyone else to be called the king. He did not know this baby king was the king of heaven and earth. He did not know this baby king was God's son. I do not know this new king, said King Herod, but go and find him and tell me where he is. Herod was not a very nice king. So the wise men went on, and the star led them right to the place where Jesus was. They were very happy they had found him, and they bowed down. They gave him gifts, sweet-smelling gifts, sparkling golden gifts. God knew King Herod did not like anyone else to be called the king. God sent the wise men a dream. This dream told them not to tell King Herod where the baby was. So the wise men went home a different way. They obeyed. You know, sometimes in our lives, there's someone that's that star for us, just like God was the star for these wise men. And we need to make sure we tell those people, thank you for being our star. Maybe you can be the star for someone else to tell them about Jesus this season. I hope that you have a great holiday and let your light shine and let you be the, the God's light for someone else. Happy New Year. God bless. Have a great week.